Okay guys, just a quick update video after showing you the unboxing and the demo ride I did. I learned a couple things. The man, I think that uh, thumb drive is the manual. That makes sense. I've gotten manuals like that before. I kind of forgot about that. So I, I showed you that thumb drive in the package. I believe that is the manual. It's just as easy to download it online, whichever you want to do. Um, so I, there is no print one that I know of, which is fine. It uh, tends to be less and less. So a couple of things I learned. Yeah, it's that is a button yeah you can hit it which i showed you at the end there and you can get your percentages i did see some weird symbols on there for a while so i'm not sure what was going on there um this top button right here the gray one on this particular bike the escape this button when you press it you can press it at any time and it's uh traction control so when you press it this map light whether it be green blue or red will be flashing and that indicates that you are in the traction control mode which is very cool. I mean, I was kind of trying to play around with it in that loose gravel I have in my yard and so forth and see if it won't, you know, spin that out as easily. But um, I don't really see a need for me using it right now, but I have some places I'm thinking about for it. So that was cool. The other thing is the charging. So I just wanted to kind of get a sense of, I kind of read the manual and watched the video. It's an older video though, um, about the charging of this thing. This escape, 2022 escape came with this 15 amp charger. I don't know if you can see that. I'll turn it around. So yeah, it's indicated this is a 15 amp char charger. It has no switches on it that I can see. So uh, it's just super simple. But I was just paranoid. Obviously, you don't want to screw up your new toy or whatever. But uh, basically, the procedure is to plug the charger into the outlet first. Make sure the bike is off, and then you just plug this into the bike. Uh, you plug it straight in and then twist it to the right and it locks. And you'll see this metal tab here. When I go to take it out soon, I'll pull that tab back, twist it back to the left, and pull it out. So that's really simple. It plugs in easily. It's nice. I just put this thing on a little wooden block so I didn't get that carpety thing too warm. So far, it's my first charge. It, the bike was at 50% when I started charging it. I do believe after the reading in the videos that you're supposed to charge this thing after every use, I guess. Maybe even if you only wear it down to you know, still be a 95% full, you may supposed to be charging it after every use. And the way the guy said it is like he wants you to charge, they want you to charge it kind of right after use, you know, so I thought that was a little odd. I guess I don't know the battery technology. Uh, I thought, you know, you wanted batteries to cool down before you charged them or you wanted to discharge it further so you didn't create a bad memory. But that may all be old, inf old information that I, I have from, you know, other items or something. But so I'm still kind of just trying to get absolute 100% confirmation on how you should be charging it or when, you know, whether you discharge it further or not and so forth or just charge it every time right after use. So I'll find out that hopefully soon. Maybe somebody could comment and tell me exactly. Uh, I may call Electric Motion because it's not in their manual as far as I can see anywhere. And I even Googled it online, did not see anything. So um, you can see these two lights. So you plug it into the power source and these two lights will come on. And that tells you you got your juice going. And then you plug it into the bike. And now I think I've been running this at 50% discharge on the bike. I have been running this charger close to an hour and 20 minutes, maybe close to an hour and a half now. And so I was just trying to get, I've been coming down every 10 or 15 minutes just to kind of see exactly how long it takes. So, so far I am above an hour and 20 minutes, uh, beyond an hour and 20 minutes. So those are the, just a couple little tips so far that I've learned in my day and a half of ownership. And uh, I can't think of anything else that I missed, but still trying to just uh i did take a nice ride this morning it was nice and cool out this morning here in florida i did drive down the the roads hopefully hoping the cops wouldn't un, uh, bother me and got to the little trail and had a good time on the trails but all right i hope that helps talk to you guys later i'll let you know how long it takes to charge this thing for the uh 50 at the 50 percent discharge rate talk to you later